Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 2 of the Arsenal Soccer Manager 2016 Career Mode. Guys, I am super, super excited about this series. And so please like, comment, subscribe, and let's get on to the episode. Now, first thing first, I told you guys last week, I want to hear what you guys have to say. One of you guys told me that you were interested in me bringing in Zlatan Ibrahimovic. So, you know, I wanted to make it done. I first heard off with a low offer. I want to see if I can get him for a low price and then we'll move on since, you know, he's sort of an old player now. And also another suggestion one of you guys had in the comments was for me to play a 4-2-3-1. So I found this 4-2-3-1. I like it a lot because it's, it gives me the attacking players I need in, that, in those wide positions and it's in, uh, for guys like Walcott and Alexis Sanchez and maybe even Santi Cazorla to come and play in. And so I'm really, really interested in trying this out. And um, so you guys can see I have also Ozil in that middle center. I think that's going to even improve our attack even more. And I am really excited about this one. You know, I like the Real Madrid one, but this one I'm even more excited about. And so let's get started with the first game of this episode. We're going to be playing two games, I believe, in this episode. First one, we're starting off against Fulham here. And as you guys can see, not much, too much going on. Uh, hopefully this formation can be something we can get used to because I like it. I kind of like the way it looks. Anyway, match start. Uh, are we getting some action here? Chance to go in. Can we end? Goal! It's a goal for Arsenal. We go one up here against Fulham in the first half of the game. Not to. I don't really want to make these changes. That I think the team is doing good as if, uh, on its own. And so let's go and start off the second the second half of this match. Anyway, as you guys can see here, action starts off. Not too much going on. We get, uh, uh, I believe they get a chance. Fulham gets a chance here. And what a great save by Kitsch. Peter Cech showing how amazing of a player he is. Another chance for Arsenal. We're bringing it in. Can we get it? Yes, we can. It's another goal for Arsenal. 2-0 here. And this is another chance. And it's another goal. 3-0 against Fulham. I am super excited. We're doing well. This formation is just perfect and beautiful. It's helping us transition. And, you know, the problem is now, Giroud isn't playing that well. You know, he didn't play well in the other matches in the first episode. And he hasn't been playing well in this match either. I'm going to bring in Welbeck to take his place. But I hope he improves. Because, honestly, if he's going to play bad, I'm going to take him out this season. You know, I want the best players. I want to really show that we have a good squad. Anyway, match continuing here, and you guys can see a great save right there by Peter Cech. The match is over. We won 3-0. Great performance by Mesut Ozil. I believe he scored two goals. And you guys can see they rejected the Ibrahimovic bid. They told us that no matter what offer we give, they're not going to sell him. He's indispensable. He's someone extremely important, and they're just not going to let, uh, let him go. So I decided I'm going to look at other places. My first offer I wanted to make was for Jamie Vardy, who plays at Leicester. Many of you guys know him, he's been a breakout star, and someone told me before my comments in my Real Madrid series that he was really, really good in this game. Another player was a Leicester player named Okazaki. Okazaki is a pretty good player. Um, I have another series I'm going to be starting, and uh, you guys are going to see him. He's pretty well as well. Also, another guy is Mbaye Nyang. Mbaye Nyang is someone that I think would be good to have on loan, since he, uh, you know, he's not a really a big, huge player at AC Milan right now in the game. And, and another player I'm also looking at is Carlos Tevez. At the moment, he's playing at Boca. And I think if I can make a big enough bid, I can bring him in back to Europe. I think he's a, an amazing player. I think he is one of the best players in this game. But the problem is getting him away from Boca Juniors. And the la and well, one of the last players is Angel Correa. Um, Fun football manager, he's a superstar youngster. I think he could be something big as well in this game. So I decided to make a loan bid because uh, Atletico already has a couple other players. As you guys can see, the Tevez bid was rejected. I was super disappointed. And the Nyang bid, but especially for the Tevez bid. Because I was actually really interested in having Tevez, you know. I, I really want him on this team. And I really feel he can be a big player. And I'm going to make a second bid for Tevez. I'm going to go and see if I can get him for a little bit more money. 
Honestly, I would splash 20 million if I had to, to bring in Tevez. That's how good of a player I think he'll be for our squad. He has experience, he has the skill, he's a complete striker, he just has everything. I've made another loan bid for Angel Correa here. Um, and um, I am also going to go and make an offer for Jesse. Jesse, in my Real Madrid career, he was a great player, and I just think he's a great guy. I think he's one of those players in Real Madrid that gets forgotten about, because we don't really hear about it, because, you know, other big players kind of shy him off. And as you guys can see, our Jamie Vardy bid got accepted. Not just that, our, our, also our bid for he, uh, for Jesse, or Hesse, I don't know how to say his name, but got accepted as well. And I really want Rodriguez here. I really do like him. So I decided to go for uh, to go for him. I decided to go for uh, for Jesse or Hesse. I don't really know how to say his name. Uh, if you guys can tell me in the comments, it would be nice. But anyway, I really, really like going for him. I think he's a great striker. And second of all, he's a little bit more proven than Jamie Vardy. Because even though Jamie Vardy in real life is super good, Jamie Vardy in the video game might not be that well. You know, I don't want to take a chance on a player just because in real life he's doing super good. Because at the, at the end of the day, when you're playing a video game, even the, some of the best players can be terrible. So, I, I decided not to take a chance on Jamie Vardy, but to take a chance on Jesse. And I think he'll be an, an, a great player. And as you guys can see, Real Madrid accepted. Real Madrid is taking him in. I mean, I, I mean has given him away to us. I'm super excited. We got him for, I think, a little bit over 8, 9 million, I think. And I just think he'll be a great signing. And tell me, guys, if you want one more player, if you think there's another guy I should go for, another position like defensive midfielder, tell me I want to bring guys in. I want to do some great signings for this squad. Anyway, let's go straight into our last match of this episode, our first match of the English Premier League. We're going to be playing Burnmouth. And uh, basically, Burnmouth is a new team. This is the first time ever going into the Premier League, and I want to welcome them into the Premier League with a good victory because, you know, the Premier League is tough. You have to show these teams that just came up that they're going to be playing in high competition. They're going to be playing the best in the world, and they're going to have to have their, get their game up. As you guys can see, this is the lineup. I'm going to be starting with Jesse at the top. I think he's going to be a great addition to this squad. So please comment below what you think about me signing Jesse and le leaving um, uh, uh, Jamie, Jamie Vardy. Do you think Jamie Vardy is better? I don't know. Let's get this match started. Anyway, as you guys can see, great save by Czech. Right there, Peter, uh, Peter Czech uh, saving three great shots. Great goalkeeping chance now for us. Can we get it in? And it's a goal! Jesse Rodriguez Jesse in his first match for Arsenal puts us up 1-0. That's what I wanted. An impact player. Uh, Olivier Giroud was not doing it, Jesse is doing it well, and as on the other side, they come and attack, great saves by Petr Kesh right there, blocking the shots, another great save right there, blocking another shot, and great performance overall, another chance here, and it's another save, and it's another save, great performance by our, um, um, uh, by, uh, our team right now, we're playing very, very well, Arsenal has a chance. Can we make it 2-0? And it's a great save by the goalkeeper. This Bournemouth goalkeeper is just fire, just saving on all cylinders right now. Anyway, as you guys can see, we're at 1-0 one, one, halftime right now. And, you know, I'm really, really excited to get into this. And uh, basically, we're starting the second half now. Uh, great play up there by, by, by Rodriguez. Uh, and just everything looking very, very good. But we still can't get past that goalkeeper. He's so strong. He's so fluid. I mean, you know, Bermuda, the, their defense may be very bad, but their goalkeeper is just saving them today. Anyway, match continuing here. Not too much going on. Uh, chance for Bermuda. Can we save it? Can we stop from going in? And oh, uh, oh no. Very bad mistake. Very bad goalkeeping by Peter Ketch. He's been doing great all episode, guys. And just to just let in that goal, that was not supposed to go in. I'm going to make a substitution here. Walkout has not been playing that well. And I don't want to keep guys in there who, who may not be playing that well. And I don't want to take Jesse out. So I'm uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to take Jesse. I want to go and put him into where walk uh, where walk Actually, yeah, I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put Jesse where Walkout is. 
and I'm gonna put uh, Giroud up at front. I'm gonna let him finish out this match, and hopefully he can show a little bit in the last minutes. Um, chance here. Can we get the winning goal here? And it's another great save for the Bournemouth keeper who has been solid today. And uh, you know, match continue here. Can we get the final win? No, we cannot. First Premier League match is a draw, but great effort by our new signing. Thank you guys for watching this. Tell me what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Inter on I'm in mean, Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and God bless you.